In this video, we're going to be looking at speed time graphs. I've designed this video to be used for NCA level one science in the mechanics section and for use with this flashcard here, which you can get for free from sciencescribe.co.nz. Now let's say I wanted to track the motion of a car using a speed time graph. Anything on a speed time graph that's a horizontal flat line refers to something that has constant speed. The reason for that is because if something has constant speed, then it means that its speed isn't increasing and it isn't decreasing. And we represent that by using a horizontal flat line. Just to recap, if something does have a constant speed, then it means that its velocity isn't changing. And if its velocity isn't changing, it means it's not accelerating or decelerating, which means that a value for acceleration, if we had to give it one, would have to be zero. Now remember f equals ma, and if a is going to be zero, then no matter what mass I have for that car, anything times zero is just going to work out to be zero. So if there's no acceleration on a vehicle, I could say that it has no net forces acting on the car. Now for a second part of the motion, I could track that vehicle as say, using a single straight line that has a slope to it. A single straight line with a slope to it refers to non-constant speed. The speed is not constant, it's changing. And you can see it changing. It started off from up here, whatever it was, and it's getting slower and slower and slower and slower until we reach the very bottom here. Now, if I have this bottom line here represented as zero, then I could say that at that blue cross, the car would have stopped. Now, just to recap, if I do have a change in velocity for this red section, then that means that there must be some value for acceleration which means that there must be a net force because this car must weigh something. There must be a value for mass. And because I now know that A isn't going to be zero, it means that there must be some kind of net force acting on the car. If I wanted to work out the distance, the total distance that this car has traveled, I look for the area under this whole line, under the straight line and under the red line. The area under the graph in a speed time plot will tell you the total distance that something has traveled. 